How's it going, YouTube? And people watching this live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jjor64. Today is November 27th, 2024, and today we're going to be playing a Vector Man on the Sega Genesis, finally released on Nintendo Switch Online. I remember playing this game back in the day and having a lot of fun with it. So it'll be fun to revisit this game after all these years. But before we get started here, I'm going to change the controls to this here, and then we're going to put on this difficulty just because it's been so long since I've played this game. I'm really rusty at it. All right. All right, so I can't skip this, but it is a cool intro. Vector Man. All right. It's 2049, and the Earth's cities of force and ice caps are fouled with toxic sludge. Humanity has escaped to the stars, leaving mechanical ore bots to clean up. One powerful ore bot, Raster, oversees the cleanup through the planet-wide comnet. Strategy strikes when an error. Attendants connect connect to a salvaged nuclear bomb to Raster's master of control circuits. Warhead is born and he stands for tyranny, hatred, and oppression. By Warhead's decree, Earth is forged into an instrument of death for the returning humans. Vector Man lands a space barge after delivering a load of sludge to the sun. Unhindered by evil mind control, he will not rest until Warhead is defeated and the Earth is again free. All right. Day one. All right, let's go. So the one thing I've always loved about this game is just the look of this game. It looks so cool. So for people who have never played this game before, there's you run, you jump, and you shoot. So in, in a way, it's, it's similar to like Contra. Like control-wise. Oh, dang. Okay, we do have a double jump. Man, look at the look of this game. It looks so cool. So this game was released in 1995. So it's actually a relatively late Sega Genesis game. So I was trying to think when the, the Saturn came out. Okay. Okay, so we probably want to go this way. Okay, so you can't hold down and then jump through like contrary. That you can't. What up? Oh. Okay, Jess is getting beautiful despite uh, pixel graphics. Same thing with Super Nintendo. They both look great. Oh, I got like a different power up. This is like an auto fire one I got here. Oh, I, I got like turned into like a, a bomb mode. Okay, so you can kind of see. Uh, here, I guess I will uh, make my webcam a little smaller here just so you guys can see. So in this bottom uh, left corner here, you see. Um, the, the type of shot I have. I think that is the standard. So we got the standard right now. Oh. Those are kind of tricky when you're trying to get them at an angle. Uh, is this a pit? It's not a pit. Okay. Boss fight? Boss fight. Oh, crap. Oof. Oh, dang. Oh, so do this also act kind of like uh, checkpoints as well? The TVs? Yo, nice. 
This is definitely one of those games back in the day where if you had a turbo controller, you would use it with this game. You're, you're just constantly mashing the, the shoot button. Okay, try again. Oh, crap. <laughs> I got bash as hard as I can. And as fast as I can. Oh, crap. Yeah, I remember this game being uh, pretty hard. No matter what difficulty you played on. Nice, we got it. Yeah, I just remember this game just being pretty tough. Nice level bonus. All right. All right, so I just want to show this. I'll make the camera a little bit bigger, so just not, not so tiny. Day two. What the heck? Oh, I just died. Oh, I could jump. Hey, I, I love the look of this game. It looks so cool. Maybe because it kind of reminds me of like the Silicon graphics, kind of like a Mario RPG or like Donkey Kong Country. It really reminds me of those games. Oh, that was fast. Oh, got water. Like I said, it's been so long since I've played this game. I don't re really remember a lot about it. I remember over the years, just kind of like messing around with this game on just like uh, emulator and stuff. But I play it for like two seconds and then I stop playing it. Like I never owned this game back in the day, but I'm trying to remember where I actually played it. Cause I remember I played it back then. I just don't remember where or who I played it with. Okay, so we got, okay. Nice. And this game is pretty darn cool. And it's only on Sega Genesis. Sega does when Nintendo don't. <laughs> Okay, so that's buzzing. That's for my uh, my shot. Okay. So one thing I always forget about is there actually was a Vector Man two. That I I don't think I ever I played two. I just played this one. Underwater. One up. I have eight extra lives. Let's go. I don't think I have a an air meter. Probably not. I am a robot. Oh, can I get? As I said, those are probably mines. Okay, so that was whatever that was. So now we're like in swimming. So we have like different forms. I can't shoot anything, but I am swimming very fast. Though. Also, when I have those different forms, it does seem like I have uh, invincibility, or not invincibility, but if I get hit, I don't take damage. Oh, well, I'll take damage. Yo, what's up, Mondo Z? Love this game growing. Yeah, this game's pretty cool. I haven't played this game in ages. And it's finally out on uh, Nintendo Switch Online. That's pretty sick. Uh, I got whatever that is. So that changed my form. So now we're just like a floating, like, bomb. <laughs> like a rock. But he did end up thinking of the Retro Realms game. I thought the Retro Realms game, it was pretty fun. It's way too short, and it's a little expensive. 
If you want to buy it, uh, wait till it gets on sale. That was fun though. I did enjoy it. But I just played the Halloween part of it and I finished it in two hours. It's very, very short. Maybe I'll get the Evil Dead part when it goes on sale. We are hauling butt. We're going really fast. Holy crap. Nice. <laughs> I'm smashing my... So yeah, you really want a turbo controller for this game. <laughs> Thirty percent off physical. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, you can finish it in two hours or so. I think that's how long it took me to beat the Halloween campaign. It was like two hours, and I really don't see any reason to replay it. Sadly. Oh, that's just the end there. If you can get up maybe like twenty dollars, maybe it'll be worth it. Twenty bucks. Day four. Absolute zero. And this game's pretty sick. Like I said, it's been forever since I've played this game. But yeah, this game holds up pretty well. Definitely one of uh, the best Genesis games. Like I said, it's kind of like plays like Contra, but also it's like way more platforming. Oh, crap. All right, we got fish mode. <laughs> Swimming up. Okay, we got 2x. I'm s that's for the score multiplier, right? Not, not the timer. So it's like right next to the timer, so you think it's, it would be that, but I think it's for the score. I don't think your score even does anything in this game. Probably not. Oh, shit. Jump. I wonder how long this game is. Like I, said, I never finished this game. I just remember playing like some of it back in the day. I never actually beat it. All right, we're fishing. We're swimming. Jeez. Oh. Well, to be fair, I guess we did go down for the stage. I'm assuming we're just going to keep going up is what we're supposed to do. I got two X again. Oh, we got like the spread shot. Like it says, like Contra, we got the spread shot. Nice. We can go this way right now. Nice. We gotta find a secret. Boy, um. Oh, we made it out of water. Aurora Borealis. Oh, we got boss fight. Maybe. Oh, look at that boss. Oh, we're running out. Oh, man. Ah, oh, crap. What is that? Oh, is that the actual boss? Or is that like a, just a different form? Oh crap, jump. There we go, I'm mashing, sorry, so I can't. Are you planning to do more rewards for channel points? Oh, probably not. <laughs> I should. I should just do dumb rewards for the channel points. 
like a waste all your points. <laughs> Day five, Arctic Ridge. As you can tell, I try very hard on my Twitch channel. I try very, very hard. For somebody that's been streaming on, well, I guess since Justin TV, <laughs> I've been streaming on this platform before even Twitch was a thing. Just like off and on. Remember the good old days of Justin TV? Man, I'm, I miss just going on here and watch The Simpsons. In South Park. <laughs> Ustream. I streamed on there, I think, a, a couple times on Ustream. Mostly it was on uh, Justin TV. I just like Justin TV more. How do I get out of here? There. All right, we got uh, we got this shot again. Doink, doink, doink. Oh man, this game looks so cool. I love the look of this game. This is probably like a bitrate killer right here, right? My bitrate's pretty high though. Oh, there's something in the wall there. Well, too late now. Got whatever this does. Oh, I'm just destroying. Oh, okay. So I'm doing like a Crash Bandicoot spin. Nice. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I got the spread shot again. Yeah, let's go. I love the spread shot. Oh, I died. Oh, give me the spread shot. Oh, I have it again. Oh, it's on a timer. I, I want to keep it, right? The boss fight. Oh, I'm gonna, let's go right out though. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, God. Uh, okay, we, we got in here. What the heck? Oh, is this like invincibility? I think my shot's a little different. It's health. Okay. I'm assuming that's not doing anything. Can I jump over you? That's not the boss. I know you. There's like something. Hmm. Huh. So there's like a little path under here below me. This guy doesn't want to move. I'm pretty sure shooting him isn't doing anything. Huh. Okay, so we can't get too close. Yes, yeah, so you can see something under there. Huh. Oh, maybe, I, maybe I'm supposed to shoot these guys down here? I'm just gonna uh, walk past you. <laughs> there we go. Nice level bonus. Alright. Bamboo mill. All these guys get. One thing would be kind of nice if there was a uh, button that lets you like just stand in place and shoot. 
keep in mind this is a, a Genesis game, so it's made with three buttons in mind. What were they thinking making a controller that's only three buttons? And a start button, so technically like four buttons. What were they thinking? They're pretty smart with the Super Nintendo and had a million buttons on that thing. But so what? They added what? In the NES, they added what? Two extra face buttons and then the LNR. Oh. Got the topsy turvy mode. Is this like a uh, invincibility? Is it like a star equivalent for like Mario? Try to get the TV, dude. Or oh, over the bomb. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. What's up, Saucy? How goes it? I'm playing some uh, Vector Man on the Sega Genesis. On my Nintendo Switch. This game is pretty cool. Boss fight? What are you? Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Well, that didn't hurt. Oh. I died. Holy crap. Oh, I got an extra hit point. Nice. Oh, and I got the spread shot, too. Oof. Oh, that Sega Genesis slowdown. I think I'm hitting. I think I'm damaging him. Oh god, we're getting so much slowdown right now. Right, that, the spread shot is so good in this game. Interesting, your eyes picked up VR and Black Friday. Nice. Yeah, I haven't got any Black Friday stuff yet. But I see a really good deal on Steam Deck. Asus, Rock Ally, or a Lenovo Legion Go. I think I'll pull the shirt. Rock and... Okay. The hell... Oh, I'm shooting here. A uh, best a Sega uh, a Genesis game. I actually don't know. What is my favorite Genesis game? It might be Hyperstone, like Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist. I like that game a lot. This is like Frogger for some reason, but I could shoot a gun. I'm assuming I'm trying to shoot these hands. There we go. seen an LPC this low before. Yeah, so I'm just kind of keeping an eye out. Death Alley. Yeah, I don't know what my favorite Genesis game is. Yeah, I like uh, Hyperstone Highs, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I love that game. This game is actually pretty sick. I actually do like this game a lot. I think this game holds up very well for someone who hasn't played this in ages. I still think it's a very fun game. Here we are, I got a double jump. Keep forgetting the double jump. What the heck? Oh, we're a motorcycle or something. What the heck? 
Uh, I liked Columns. Columns is fun. Like, everybody had that game, right? Columns, that puzzle game. I enjoyed Columns. What else was, uh... There was a Power Rangers fighting game on the Sega Genesis. That was pretty cool. That'd be really cool if they would actually make a Power Rangers, like, retro collection. <clears throat> Just a collection of the old game. Because a lot of the old, like, Super Nintendo era and Sega Genesis era Power Ranger games are actually pretty good. Especially the very first uh, Super Nintendo uh, Power Rangers game. Surprisingly, a really solid beat-em-up game. Our CPU in that game. Oh, Sonic Shuffle, yes. I have played that. I think I still have that. It's one of the few gen uh, Dreamcast games I had. Yeah, Sonic Shuffle. Oh, that game is butt. But I do want to play that again at some point on the channel. <laughs> on the YouTube slash Twitch channel. Oh, Sonic Shuffle. That was something else. The Sega Dreamcast is awesome. Though. That's a Genesis and a Dreamcast. I never owned a Saturn. Oh, I can't jump over that. I've always wanted to play more Saturn stuff. I really haven't played much Saturn at all, really. Like, none of my friends had a Saturn. Like, nobody I knew had a Saturn. Like, nobody did. No, Atari Jaguar, no. I've played Atari like once or twice. Like a real Atari. So one of my old neighbors that lived across the street from me had a Intellivision. So I've actually played a decent amount of Intellivision. I've actually played more Intellivision than Atari. Nice. I guess what, Night Stalker? Well, there's like the controller for Atari that looks, it's basically got a phone, has a number keypad, and then it has like a disc. And then you do like the cover slips over a television. Yeah, that's funny. I have more nostalgia for Intellivision than uh, Atari. I should put a television on Nintendo Switch online. That'd be hilarious. I think there is like one or two like Intellivision like collections you could buy on Switch. I guess to be fair, I haven't played any Intellivision yet on the on the channel. We'll have to do that. I played a, well, a few Atari games. I've played like two Atari games. Halloween and uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Atari. ColecoVision, I never played ColecoVision. Oh, I, don't, I don't think I've played a Coleco. I'm trying to remember, I don't think I have played a ColecoVision. I know Atari and, uh, and television I have, that I know for sure. I remember playing um, Pac-Man on Atari, I've played that. I, I've played Atari Pac-Man on a real Atari. For people that don't know, that game is very bad. The, the Atari version of Pac-Man is pretty bad. But now it's kind of funny just to look at nowadays. It's like, how did they make this game? It's so funny. I should just play more Atari on, on the channel and television. <laughs> I just need to play more games. I don't have the time. I'm just here playing Sega Genesis instead. <laughs> How did I get another hit point? Is it, did I find an item on the, is in the level or do I, if you get a certain number of points, you just get another hit point. I'm not complaining, I want, I want more hit points. Got one up. Yeah, it's probably a boss dude. This is a cool looking stage. Like I said, I just love the look of this game. It looks so cool. Oh, that's no bueno.
Okay, so he's got a pattern here. I am just mashing. <laughs> I'm mashing. Did I get him? Oh. Jump! <laughs> yeah, this is a game back on the Genesis that <laughs> you needed a turbo controller for it. If you had a turbo controller, you used it for this game. Nice. Day 10. Super sharp. Man, look at this. God, I just love the look of this game. It looks so cool. Like I said, I just I love the look of that early Silicon graphics. Like Donkey Kong Country. Just like early Nintendo 64, like promotional art, stuff like that. A lot of nostalgia for that crap. Ouch. Ooh, whatever those bug guys are. They're annoying. Because they're off screen, so I can't see them. Son of a butt. <laughs> Yo, watch out, Luigi. Vector Man could jump pretty high. Sega does when Nintendo don't. Stupid Sega. Oh, I got a full health refill. Nice. And we got the spread shot. We are doing damage. Even though I'm a Nintendo guy, I was a Nintendo kid. I still, I, I still like Sega. I always appreciate Sega. Like I said, I had a Genesis. Not too many games on my Genesis, but I did have a Genesis back in the day. And a Dreamcast. Like Sonic Adventure One, man, that game is so good. I love Sonic Adventure One. That's a Sega. I hope those new uh, Sega games that Sega's making of uh, like reboots of or not reboots but like new like classic games like the new uh, crazy taxi or jet set radio i hope those are good i think a lizard cube he made their uh, the wonder boy and the dragon's trap in streets of rage 4 i think they're making a new shinobi game oh that game is good i'll have to try that i've never really played a lot of the shinobi games but i've heard they're great i think shinobi 2 or 3 is on uh nintendo switch online i'll have to play that soon the heck? I'm like Superman. What the heck? I'm just like flying. Oh. <laughs> Game's crazy. Okay, so okay, so I think they're hidden. So I got another hit point. Nice. Oh, these these red bugs. Also, I'm almost out of time. That's something you gotta remember. There's a time. You have a timer in this game. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold forward. They got a timer in this game. Hopefully, there's no boss. There's probably a boss fight there, right? Give me spread shot. Aw, oh, I was hoping for a spread shot. Hopefully, there's no boss on this stage. I gotta get going. I'm gonna run out of time. What happens when you run out of time? I don't know. Probably go back to the last checkpoint. Is this the end of the stage, though? Oh, okay, guys, gonna say I look like it. You got Silent Hill 2, Armor Core 6, Shimago Intensive 5, Baldur's Gate 3, Alan Wake 2, and PlayStation VR 2 for Black Friday. Nice. What the heck? Staying alive? We're, we're dancing. I'm dancing. I kind of like these extra stages. What the heck? Yeah, I need to look around for the Black Friday stuff. Like, so I really just like the handheld PC. That's kind of all I'm really looking for. If there's, like, anything that's a really good, like, a really, really cheap deal. I'm not supposed to be shooting this middle thing, right? I think I'm supposed to be shooting the tornadoes. Think so? So that's what I'm doing. Like, so I think it's just, like, a bonus stage, right? Okay, maybe I do have to shoot this? Can't tell. Oh, okay. Okay, man, I am supposed to shoot this then. Because it's not giving me my. Okay, now I see. I see, I see, I see now. Okay, I didn't notice that. Okay, there we go. Do I still use my Odin? Yeah. Every now and then. I actually just uh, 
a couple days ago, I played some Beautiful Joe on it. I made a video on the channel. Beautiful Joe. It's still an amazing game. Whoa, what the heck? Look at this. Oh, this is like the machine gun. Yeah, the Odin 2 is pretty nice. I think just really my only major complaint about it is it's Android based. Oh, I don't have my machine gun anymore. I was maybe gonna play some Dead by Daylight tonight. I might actually just play through, the, just play this game. <laughs> Actually, I have a lot of fun playing this. I'm sick. Vector Man gets a thumbs up for me. This game is great. So say this game can't be super long, right? done playing this today my thumb is gonna fall off. I'm just mashing mashing these buttons all right oh, I'll see you. I think really the only thing that I don't like about this game is there's a time limit but other than that like this, this game you're at day 13 dark rooms Strider on the Sega Genesis? Is that, that's on Nintendo Switch Online, right? I really should play more of these Genesis games. I really haven't really played any of them. Because when this came out, it was like the same day as like Nintendo 64. It's like, well, playing Nintendo 64. What are you, are you kidding me? Hey. All right, we got the bomb again. Spinning top. I think one thing I'm noticing in this game I like is there's no pitfalls. Those are some later in the game, but like I haven't fell down to like a pit and died. I do like that. Buds. Oh, what the heck? Oh, so I do that when I'm against a wall. That's funny. That's cool. What's this? You just see, like, there's the sparkle around it. I think I'm supposed to go this way, I assume. Oh, crap. Ooh. Huh. I'm not supposed to do anything here, right? This is not the end here, right? Okay, you can hold down the look down. Huh. 
Because those are weird because it just has that sparkle around it. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I think, I can, I think we can go around. I'm going to shoot the TV here first, though. Okay, we're going to... Oh, I can go through it. Okay. Nice. Oh, no, I died. Okay, at least I know where I'm supposed to go now. Uh, where am I? T so some of these TVs are checkpoints. I can jump through here. Okay, so we're back here. Okay. All right, at least we know where to go now. Doesn't look like you can jump through that, but you can. Oh, you get, I just noticed something. When you're shooting like that, you hover. Nice. TV. We got a helicopter. Okay. Assuming this is the end of the stage. Nice. Do -do 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 Day 14, underground vaults. Where's the late? VR is amazing. Nice, I never played that game. I never played 7 either. What is Dragonfly? Or whatever those bugs are. Those things are a pain in the butt. But yeah, I never played uh, those games. Maybe one of these days I'll finally get around to 7 and 8. Played all the other ones. I just never played those. They magically make like a Nintendo Switch 2 versions of those games. That'd be pretty sick. I always forget they released uh, 7, 2, and 3 on Switch as cloud streaming games. I always forget they actually did that. I'm really curious how those did. I bet they did not do very well. Okay, so what? It was, so Seven and Cloud was released in Japan like a million years ago. And it was the last year or the year before they finally released on like uh, internationally, like worldwide. I think it was last year, right? It's 
Same thing with uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, right? It was a cloud game uh, in Japan only. That never got released outside for like a worldwide release. The hell? Yeah, invisible platforms. For a second, I was like, oh, nice. I beat the stage. Like, wait a second. Oh, this game's tricky, tricky. I'm assuming this is the exit. I just for one up. I was just for one up. Oh, oh, got a boss. There you go. Oh, geez. This guy's scary. It's the scariest game I've ever played. Oh, he's shooting. He's dropping missiles on me. Hidden missile. Can get him. Now we got the fish. Oh, crap. Oh, gee. Uh, okay, where am I? Okay. Where the heck am I? Oh, these these bugs are a pain in the butt. There's like a million of them that group together and they're off screen, so they're hard to see. And they're fashed. Okay. And so these guys are dropping missiles on me, so be careful. Okay, so this guy just walks. I'm trying to spawn him. Oh, shit! You kind of just have to outrun him there. Yeah, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, my God. <laughs> my thumb. There we go. Nice. We got him. I think we just dropped now. Do I even have to fight these guys? Can I just run? Oh, what the heck are you? You're like a monkey. Nice. There we go. Nice. I'm going to check something on here. Uh, one second, be right back. All right, we're back now. Day 15. Saucy. Thanks for stopping by. Is that, is that Warhead in the background? This game has style. Nice. Like, I'm surprised, like, how well this game holds up. This game's great. Oh, I'm gonna lose my 
So one of these, I think, is a checkpoint. It's hard to tell which one's the checkpoint, which ones are not. I guess I've really been... Maybe, like, something that pops out of the TV is the same. So you can jump on these conveyor belts. Let's say they kind of blend in the background. Kind of hard to see them. Um. There. Like, how do I get through the conveyor? Belt? Oh, try to break the TV. Answer, but answer. Oh, it got me. Oh, crap. I'm glad if you uh, stand on a platform and you get to the ceiling, it doesn't like squish you and instantly kill you. I hate when games do that. Like, I feel like there's, like, a lot of smart decisions they made in this game. That won't frustrate the player. Can't jump. I'm going in a circle? Am I going in a circle? That stage kind of blends in together. I think we're going the right way. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, so we're trying to... I'm assuming we're trying to go... All right. Huh. I'm, there we go. I was just saying, I'm assuming we're trying to stay on these, right? And then just go this way. Don't jump on this, though. Stay on this one. Go this way. Yeah, I think we're going the way. We can go that way. Yeah, I think we're going the right way. Yeah, so this stage is definitely a big maze. As long as I can keep going right. <laughs> so I think I know I'm going the right way. Oh, crap. I don't want to die. Just mashing just in case there's something in front of me. Like that guy. I don't want to die. I don't know where the checkpoint's going to put me. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Where am I? Let's say just... The stage is pretty confused. Okay, so I think we're not we're not too far. Okay, hang on, no, no, we're right now. Yeah, not too far. Got me again. 
Okay, now I think we're just jumping up these. There we go. Alright, ooh, that stage was confusing. TV's destroyed. Day 16 twist and shout. Whoa. Tornado. This is cool. I feel like this game is like pushing the Genesis to its limits. Oh, hello. Are you Warhead? Wherever you are, I'm gonna shoot you. I have to jump shoot though. Crap. Oh, there we are. Oof. Ooh, he got me. So I only got two minutes on this stage, so we don't have a lot of time. So I don't, I don't think I can go any faster. I still being on those platforms. I wonder if it'd be better if I just stood under him, like move under him and shoot up, or will I not reach? Oh Jesus! Projectiles. I'm just gonna stand over here. Shooting his big head. Oh, you can see I'm like damaging it. It's, there's damage. Oh gosh. There's there's health. My God, but it was only worth one. I beat him. Level bonus. I think that is that a GG? Yay, we win! Victory! Warhead has vanquished. The Earth is safe from the return of humanity. Earth has a new hero, Vector Man. Yay! Nice. We beat it. So definitely a short game, but I had a lot of fun. This game's great. Doorman, Marge, Marge Simpson. Legs. Sludge pilot. Turret. Jaws. I like Jaws is just a fire extinguisher with a mouth. We got Beetle. Was a howitzer? Margie. Submarine, Mecha Jellyfish, Angler. Sludge Barge, Barrage. That's Barge, right? Barrage has two Gs, right? Aurora, <laughs> Aurora Borealis? That's literally the boss name, Aurora Borealis. In, in my kitchen, clockwork. Acrobat. This guy, yeah. Spider bomber. Oh, it's this guy, okay. Well, he does kind of look like a spider, and he does drop bombs on you. Piranha. Oh, God, this guy's scary. He's fast. So like a piranha fish. Monkey. It is supposed to be monkey. Okay. Because he acted like a monkey. It is, it's a monkey. Warhead. That was a cool fight. That big giant tornado. GG's. Rich, Marty, Amber, Mark B. Is that it? 
Developed by Blue Sky Software. Nice, GG's everybody. This game was a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be, but this game's great. This game is fantastic. So now we just need Vector Man 2 on Nintendo Switch Online and we can play that game. Nice. We'll let the credits play out here. Splash screens. Lead programmer. Special thanks. Where's Sonic at? No, <laughs> Sonic helped make this game. Produced by Sega. So I think Sega, I'm assuming Sega owns the rights to this game because this game wasn't made by Sega, but I think they published it. I'm going to assume they own the rights to this game now. Put Vector Man in Smash. That'd be funny. Big Smash. Instead of Sonic, they put a Vector Man. That'd be cool. <laughs> Who needs Sonic when you got Vector Man? Now this game pretty darn good. Special thanks. Game over, and there's my score. GG's, everybody. GG's. We beat Vector Man for the very first time. I've never beat this game before. Now we're back in the tile screen, so. I don't think anything else unlocks after I beat the game, I'm going to assume. I can look up game facts real quick and see if there's any, like, secrets or anything. I'm going to assume probably not. Uh, there are some codes. So there are some cheat codes. Debug menu. Blow up Sega logo. Ooh, cool. There's a level warp, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, just some cheat codes and stuff. Nothing crazy. But there you have it. There is a Vector Man on the Sega Genesis. This game's great. I think it's still a lot of fun to play. Pretty short, but I think I'm okay with that. So, yeah, this game's great. I had a great time, and thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed some Vector Man on the Sega Genesis, also known as the Sega Mega Drive. If you're new to the channel and you would like to help support, like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, click that bell icon to turn on notifications, and also follow the Twitch channel as well. But yeah, that's going to do for me, everybody. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Take it easy, and I'll catch everyone next time.